Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. The dishonorable or low honor playthrough. So let me get my carbine out real quick. And then, actually, should we just get the, the bolt action and the shotgun? Right? Where's my bolt action? Where's my... Oh, I've already got the bolt action out. Okay. Uh, so let's put express bullets in the... Yeah, let's put express bullets in the bolt action. And then I think... Should we get a repeater and a rifle or a, a rifle and a shotgun? I feel like the pump action will help us very well. So, I'm going to go with that. Uh... I really don't want, I, I kind of don't want to waste the bolt action, so we're going to bring out the carbine. Yeah. Carbine. Or maybe, we can bring out the Lancaster. What does the Lancaster look like? Is this the gun I want? Maybe not. Uh, Springfield. Springfield was a good rifle. Oh, Springfield is a rifle. Oh. So I could use that instead of the bolt action. Okay. Right, so Lancaster or the Carbine, and the Lancaster seems to be the one with the most damage. So, of course, last episode, it was a pretty scary episode, I ain't gonna lie. So, this and the pump action should be perfect weapons, I should think. So, yeah, here we go then. So, we got a pretty high bounty after the, um, the trolley station robbery, unfortunately. So, yeah. We gotta go meet up with Dutch again. Uh, where is that? Not too far from here, honestly. So, should not be too bad. Let's go. Off we go. Down to Dutch. Yeah, that last episode, though, pretty, pretty terrifying. I ain't helping nobody. I don't care. Let me go. Jesus Christ, stop being so slow. I mean, this horse is slow, but that, that was a new level. Whoa, everyone's there. Jesus Christ. Okay. Can I hitch the horse anywhere? I guess not. Well, let me just put you somewhere safe, the uh, carbon. I think this would be all right. Arthur, there you are. Come on. Wow. Thomas. Gang again, here we go. I'm looking forward to this mission. <laughs> hey Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fight. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. What was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> I fought, and I fought well. So you always <laughs> tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. Them Indians were savages. Oh, jeez. Watch mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. <laughs> what you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to wreak some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry yeah. I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <clears throat> well, well, leave love aside. <laughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. Oof. It's all we got. True. Here we go then. Man, I love these type of missions. The last one was at the Braithwaite's. This is the first and only time we get to go into Bronte's mansion as well. Let me whip out the Lancaster. Express bullets ain't got enough. Ah! 
How did I not buy any bullets? Oh, are we? Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Alright, follow John. Why can't you just follow me for once? Let's go. I'm gonna whip out the Lancaster. Find some cover. Two up ahead. Oh, we're taking the left. You got a shot on him? I don't want him to look this way. Yes, John, let's go. How did I run out of dead eye? Oh, the crocodile, shit. Take them. Alright, uh, core, core, gin, 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 let's just drink gin in the middle of the battle. Whoop! Boom! Let's go, let's go. Go, 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 go! Get this cover. Come on. Hope you guys like dynamite! How did that not kill you? What? What? Yeah, Jesus, he has got an army. Oh, you almost got away, my friend. Well, I'm making a move, I'm making a move, I'm making a move. Hey, you little bitch. All right, here we go then. So I'm taking the pump action out. Shoot that lock, Arthur. Whoop. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Just gonna lock pick it. <laughs> Come on, let's get in there. That ain't my weapon. Get around the corner, get around the corner. <laughs> Just give up, you bastard! It's over! Wait. This is my double barrel. <laughs> this is my double barrel. This is mine. It's, easy, it's even got the um, little things in it. The whatever. The uh, engravings. Dang. Oh, did we just shoot him for the window? Oh, we did. Alright, come on, John. I know he's upstairs, I've played this before. Almost. <laughs> Jesus, I don't like the double barrel because it shoots like two even when you don't want it to shoot two. It'll be in the big room, right? Woo! No, okay. Where you little son of a bitch? Alright, let's see what you got on you. Oh my god, he had quite a lot of money. Potent Miracle Tonic, okay. 
Can I have that hat, please? A big dirt wants to have a little chance to go to uh, okay. Alright. Oh, you can hear the whistles. The guards are coming. Oh. Come on, then. Let's get him out, then. You won't let me dead eye then. How are we gonna get him out? Wanted kidnapping. Okay. Oh, we actually hit him from there. Oh shit, my weapons need cleaning. Jeez, it, yeah, I told you. I told you they'd rust in the water because we haven't even had the guns that long. What? I swear Bill just shot you in the face. Man, I'm just killing more people and I'm just carrying this son of a bitch around. Yeah, we need. I need to clean these weapons. Jesus! New friend? <laughs> I've known him for quite a while. <laughs> Jesus. Put him in front. Bill. Bill. Got him. Oh, come on, Lenny. Jeez, we actually did it. Let's go. Oh, hey, big man. Oh, friend. You gonna ransom you or what? Oh, you're pussy. Oh, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving a pity, my friend. All your Jeez. money. All your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You have nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country, you, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. <laughs> What are you gonna say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So filth has got to be destroyed. Oh, no. Gonna come and rescue you, you repulsive little maggot. Jeez. What are you doing, Dutch? Oh my god. Jesus. Part of your philosophy books cover feeding a fellow. The goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. Jesus. Bitch. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. <laughs> Dang. I mean, he deserved it, but... Jesus. What the hell was that?
Well, he was thinking then. Dang. Revenge is a dish best eaten. We're back at camp. Alright. That was a pretty fun mission, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, off we go. See, I told you it was my gun. What was Dutch doing with my gun? <laughs> That's what I would have bloody know. Right, so are we going to see Dutch or what? My lord, you're old. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this chance. The distraction will buy all the time you need. I don't like it. It's the right plan. We've done the work. I've been in town. Look at him. Watch him and... I'm waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. It's the right plan. I know. I just... Well, between you and me, I'm nervous. I suppose. Good morning, I suppose Mary Beth. That's it. We're never nervous. That's Hello, right. Mary Beth. I know. Alright. Let's just go. Mm, you should. Certain. Uh, what? You? Look, the bank. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. Really? And the police? It's a city. There are police. But as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way. When Abigail and I cause the diversion, that's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. We linger around here, we know we're dead. But plan. We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. City cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's Shouldn't done it in the night. Safe. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. Can we do it at night? There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that side of Pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every sure. problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. <laughs> You're True. Right. Let's rob this bastard. Everyone get some rest. Be right out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. Look smart. Ah, oh, we're gonna be back in that suit again, aren't we? Yep. Oh, no. I hate this suit. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within... Six weeks we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Woo! <laughs> Off we go. Come on, Jose, get moving. We ain't got all day. Here we go then. This is it, gentlemen. I'm gonna stay with Dutch. Where have we heard that before? Oh god, is that my cut? Get the fuck out of my way. Oh, I just botched him. trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? Fuck it. just gonna leave that behind? Forget that, it's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some big town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With security, guards, police. <laughs> Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One last time. Hosea and Abigail, draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny, secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and Arthur deal with the bank manager and vault. Got it? Got it, yeah. All right. Let us go ahead. I need a uh, dead eye. Sure. 
Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! Alright. Can I have some tonic? There we go. Uh, I'll take it away. Alright, um, tonic. Probably restores health, stamina, dead eye. We're gonna need a uh, dead eye core first before we can do any of that. And I think cheese wedge would be fucking perfect. Can I have another one. There we go, and that should restore the dead eye. Just in time as well. Jeez. Off we go. It's gonna be good. Robbing a bank. Well, people are watching us though. Le Moyne National Bank. Let's hitch up here. Oh wait, Bill's with us. I didn't see him earlier. Bill, who else with us? Gentlemen. John looks really good in that suit, I'm not gonna lie. It ain't no crime at all. Folk like this, they stole with them. Alright, let's, uh, <laughs> cool. miracle tonic. Stay cool, fellas. Back natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? As <laughs> soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. Whoa! <laughs> I love that Hosea! He is a true artist. <coughs> oh, there we go. Ugh, some shit on the ground there. Look. Equip mask. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen! This is the hold up! Don't do nothing stupid! Still need to clean my weapons! Can I clean them now? Am I getting clean? Alright. Now then, Arthur, would you seeing your bank manager here open up the vault? In a minute, just cleaning up my guns, just in case we have any trouble. There we go, both cleaned. Wait, are they both different? Did I make them look different by accident? I think I did. One's black. One's got black. And then. Eh, slightly wrong. It's whatever. They're both really good guns, anyways. Are you with and open the hall now. All right. Well, I think I think they're the same. Just ones in a different light. Open the hall. Come on. Can I whack him? Whack him, whack him, whack him. <sighs> Let's make this quick. Come on. Forget all the drawers, just get those safes open. We need the combination for these safes. Come on, the combination. Come on, speak, speak or die. Oh, well, what's the first number? First number. 19. 19. Second number. 72. 72. 72. Okay. I just had it. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All right, be one more that wasn't 72. That was 74. Last number. 54. 54. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. 
Gotcha. Look at that. Well, well, well. Wow. Oh, oh, look at all that money. See, this is the shit I wish we could do in Red Dead Online. Only, only one. Let's go. Okay. Oh. Think we got a problem out here. Oh shit. Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? I'm looking right at you, Micah. Where'd my friend go? Or folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily. The friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on! Oh shit. Oh no. Oh god. I don't like this moment because I love Jose. Oh. No. Oh, god damn it. There's your knees. Look at the blood leaking out of his nose. That level of detail. There we go then, let's get all the weapons out. Whoop! Oh, how dare you kill Jose, I'm getting my revenge now. <laughs> Ain't I glad? Ain't I glad we cleaned our weapons? Have I got? I got one dynamite. Oh, that was satisfying. But all I can see is Jose on the ground. Go, 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 go. More dynamite, yes! It's dynamite, Dutch! That's all we needed to execute these plans properly. We could have just blown up the safes and then escaped with it. Or... This is worse than Blackwater. Is that my rifle? That is my rifle! Where were you getting these all from? <laughs> this is the second time you've given me my gun. Jesus, alright, we gotta go, we gotta fucking go fast. Oh, that was a nice shot there. This. What's the condition of this? It's fine. Let's go. It's just fucking bad, dude. Ooh, we're doing pretty good right now. Look at them with their stock ass cattlemans. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus, come on, boom. Get in this cover. Oh, fuck you. Oh, 
Jesus fucking Christ! Oh my god. Oh, bullet right to the skull. Dang! There's the rest of the gang. We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof. See if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on. I got off is so calm about this. We gotta go then. Follow Lenny across the rooftop. Oh no, I know this moment. Jesus. Wait, that's not my gun. Oh, Lenny. Jesus. Yep, moment of silence. That's not my gun in my holster. That's not my gun in the holster. The right holster's a normal Catman revolver, it ain't mine. That ain't my gun. It's whatever. That ain't my gun. But this one is though. Just randomly lost my double action revolver. Near Melton. No Charles was with us. Let's go then. Climb window. Quick, get in. Jesus, how did we escape that? I don't believe they knew we were coming. Just like your fairy job, Blackwall. Ain't nothing like that. Oh. Filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Uh, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got a, a boat. What you mean? We stay here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah. Where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I mean, look at us. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Okay, follow me. To Red Dead Redemption 2. Down. Still got one of my double actions. Let's go. I'm gonna get the Lancaster on instead. Hey, no one put them all away. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2, the low on a playthrough continues. Stay low, fucking hell. 
He's looking right at us. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. I think we're getting up to one of my favourite parts in the game now. We get to go to Guama. Jesus. But yeah, it's one of my favourite parts of the game. Dutch, hide your fucking head, dude. Oh god. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. Milton said a lot. They're looking for us. Come on, I'm gonna be out here all night. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh, <laughs> I was terrified then. That was terrifying. Alright, let's go. The rest fallen? Oh no, that's just fucking terrifying, dude. Shit, stop, stop Arthur. Arthur. Oh. oh! Damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? I don't know, make a noise, whistle or something. Come on, let's go. Whoop, whoop. Quick, get in cover and stay out of sight. Just gonna barge past Dutch. Silently, so when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Whoa, oh, I like it. Charles is a real hero. What in the hell? Who is this? Excuse Whoop. me, buddy. Hey, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> that is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. Let's run then. Let's go as fast as we can. Let's get the fuck out of here. Wow. Look at us all in our suits. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. What now? We escaped. Well, at least we got some gold. Sure. This boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> going to Guama. Introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence, and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. <sighs> well, it's gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fellow, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. 
Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Hmm. Apparently. Guam. I wonder if Guam is an actual place. I mean, it is in Cuba. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but uh... <clears throat> that cloud looked like good news to you. They really shouldn't have foreshadowed this next part. There's a bed coming on overnight. <laughs> Off we go. Oh shit. Fucking boat is Titanic all over again. Jesus fucking <laughs> Just throw them out of the way. That's low on her. There we are. Wow. I love this part of the game. I really bloody do. I really wish we could go back to Kwama as well after the main story, but it's not possible, unfortunately. Here we go. Uh, where the hell am I? Kwama, my friend. Kwama. Barely alive, as you can tell from the vision. And blurrier and blurrier. Oh, it's in the cinematic camera. We can change the thing, all right. And there's our boy. <laughs> Oof. Keep going, Arthur. R.T. Morgan. <laughs> Jesus, all right, let's go. Look around now. You can. Jesus, can we go backwards? Nah. He keeps going whichever direction you put the controller in. Jesus, look at this. Oh, you can actually look at the map. And yeah, there you go. Guama. Yo, so 
Jeez, so that's the main map of Gorma. The rest is just desert and forest. Still fucking amazing now. Here we go. Gotta love this part of the game though. They had it in Red Dead Redemption 1 as well. Not Guama, but you got to go to another place, Mexico. Mexico, hopefully we get to do that in a DLC, but I really don't know. But uh, I'm just glad to be back in Guama. And uh, I'm just gonna make the most of it this time. So we're gonna have quite a few episodes in Guama, I should think. Oof. Exhaustion. Oh, got no, got no boots on? Jesus. What's the shoes? Chapter 5, Guama. <sighs> oh, we got a normal sight again. Look around. Can't go back. We can only go forwards. Look at this place though. Look at smoke. Oh, civilization. Let's get there quick then. Look at this beard though. Oh, look how red his face is. Jesus. The effects of this. What's up here then? Dutch. You're alive. Are you? You're, you're alive. Brother, it is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Jesus. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. You're a fat Mike Chris, for God's sake. I mean, Bill's fat, but Mike has got a bloody beer belly. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guar. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island, east of Cuba. Kind of want to go to Guar, my man. near Australia or Tahiti? On the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. <laughs> well, next, I guess we're gonna get shot. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor, we are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? <laughs> what are you doing? Jesus. Mr. O'Malley. Surviving. We were lost at sea. In the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos. Vamos. Spanish. This ain't Cuba. You sure? You sure this ain't Mexico? Yeah, I think so, some parts of this were a bit lazy. That's why people don't really. They say Guama was the low point of the game. Honestly, it's one of my favorites because it's so different. It only happens once. Senior overseer for Alberto Fusa. But it does take a lot of, and maybe a bit too much inspiration from the Mexico part of um, Red Dead Redemption, where 
there's rebels fighting against um, pe uh, the people that are not supposed to be treating their people like shit, but they think they're kings, so, yeah. Dang. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. He's strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You seem like someone or other. <laughs> we was headed to Tahiti. You was going to scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Gala, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel. So, yeah, wow. Jesus. Welcome to Guam, gentlemen. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah. I wish I could ride a horse. Oh, that's not even a horse. That's a donkey. What do you think? I don't even have horses. Over there. I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now. Jesus. Well, for what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. <laughs> Jesus, there it is. Goddamn Guama. Who knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. Why did they whack Javier? Is that Javier? Yeah, they did. Well, I think. Oh. Hey, I was wondering when we could go first person. Alright. Here is Guama, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. It's a very beautiful place. And honestly, I really do enjoy this part of the game. Wow. We got no boots on it. Oh, Dutch has boots. They all have boots. I don't. Oh, Jesus. Oh, right in the face. Oh, he had the keys. How convenient. Right, there we go then. Got a little Catman's revolver, a few bullets. Is it a Catman's? Yeah, it's a Catman. Everyone okay? Uh, yeah. There. Reinforcements. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Debbie. Everyone, follow me. Meet Debbie. Come, come, come. Oh, the shot have you in the leg. Jesus. That's for saying have you later. Come on, Arthur. Quickly, I have some guns last here. Come. Who? Guns. Let's go then. I wonder where we got the gun belt from. Alright, what, what is it? What can we got? Ball action! Let's go! Boom! Boom!
Oh, and the balls. And the face. Let's just go, let's just go. Just go Deadeye, Deadeye! I'm screaming for Deadeye right now. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, let's go down, let's go down, let's go down. Got him. And him. Ooh. I got nothing. Come on, follow me. Quick. Dang. Well, what a nice welcoming committee. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from. Somebody, or something, I guess. How went we on? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These ground rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. No, oh, only one of them is really a rat. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusa? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from him. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out, hunting them down. That old spot? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. Hmm. But, I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend, and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, they will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well, goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, do some more scouting. Carefully. Dang! And our first scene, the wolf. No honor. First dream, anyways, for quite a while. The first one you get is... I think the first one we got was after we got kidnapped by Cornwall Driscoll. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. If you liked it, hit that like button as hard as you possibly can. Comment, share, and subscribe. And next episode, we're going to do the entirety of the Guama chapter. I'll see you guys then. Peace!